Hey guys, how are we doing? So we're back in another Mother's Basement video, and I thought this would be quite funny because <coughs> it's about high school DxD. <laughs> now, me being uh, the person that wants to watch everything that's out there <laughs> and have an understanding of what everyone likes and dislikes, and I guess basically I want to be the anime overlord, which will never happen, but it's a journey. I'd watch that. Anyway, um. <laughs> High School TXD is a very interesting anime because the, there's a lot of boobs. But it's just one of those where like I was watching it, I'm like, okay, interesting, interesting, boobs, 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 interesting, interesting. How are they going to one-up this on... And they just keep doing the most ridiculous thing and then the most ridiculous thing and the most ridiculous thing. But there's still a little bit of plot going on, interesting backstory, this character's this, blah, blah. Make it more ridiculous, make it... And it's just like, are you... It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And um, as soon as I see Mother's Basement's got this, the title's just like, what's so great about High School DxD? The power of plot. Also plot. I was just like, right, let's uh, let's enjoy this. High School DxD. Joe, you know if you've got a spare, like, time, watch it, because there's a lot of episodes. I was very surprised when I was watching it. I was like, there's a lot. And there's boobs everywhere. It like, doesn't matter what happens, they're just going to go throw some boobs in. Like, we're in school and, oh no, I slipped and my clothes fell off. Or they're having a fight and everyone that's a male, that's a dude, the clothes just nothing. The clothes are invincible. If you're a girl, your clothes are just going to fall as soon as someone flicks your, your, your clothes. Just, it's going to be revealed. Anyway, <laughs> what's so great about High School DxD? The power of plot. Also a plot. So, uh, yeah, it's technically not February anymore, what is that going to do with anything? Keeping up with current events meant that I had to push one of my planned videos for fan service February back. Oh, up. that's a good Today, one. Fan service February, love it. And a bit of depravity, we are going to be talking about what is arguably the biggest, bounciest, etchy anime out there right now. Yes. This show about a pervy young man whose goal He's is so to be funny. the Harem King could arguably be called the Harem King itself. Harem King! <laughs> soon to be three, and its own blatant knockoff that began public the same year the first season aired, it's hard to deny this series' impact on the side of the anime community that we don't Boops. talk about. High School DxD is... Wow, okay, that's a... <laughs> uh, let's cut to something Blatantly else so we like don't that. get demonetized, okay? All right. High School DxD... Uh, that's another boob. That's another <laughs> boobs. Uh, okay, just cut to a scene of Issei sitting in class, talking. Nothing risque can possibly... Oh, come Stop on! Stop thinking about daydreaming about boobs in class! <laughs> All right, Flip, there's no way around Love this. It. You're going to need to do a lot of censoring for this video. High School DxD is raunchy as hell, literally, and there's it's no so way to talk about talk it without with it. discussing those aspects. Obviously, the show's willingness to slap a Excuse pair me. of impressively animated jubblies on the screen whenever the plot justifies it, and often when it doesn't, Just is doesn't a massive, to. jiggling part of its appeal. <laughs> but if filling the screen with big anime titties was all it took to make a harem series successful, Girls Bravo would be revered as an all-time classic oh. instead of being condemned them to obscurity and mocked by Philistines who don't understand what great art is. Oh. Sorry, where was I going with that? You right. bastards. The question <laughs> of why High School DxD is so popular and well liked among anime degenerates could be answered with a simple because titties, and I'm sure some of you have I don't think I it, though. exactly those words into the comments in answer to the so title good. of this video. But the goal of why do we love is not to find the obvious answers, no. because those answers can also apply to several, or in the case of DxD, several dozen other shows that shot for the same target audience and missed. The show's most obvious selling point, aside from its most obvious selling points, is its premise, which is, from a cynical marketing perspective, absolute genius. See, ever yeah, since it's... Rumiko Takahashi invented harem manga with Ranma, it's true, look it up, the harem anime meta game has been constantly wow. evolving. Every few years, one series will strike gold by trying something new that really resonates with perverts, and every other series on the market will shamelessly copy it until the next big thing comes along. This has been true since the show that popularized the concept, Tenshi Moyo Ryo Oki, oh, took what a show. formula and combined it with the premise of what a show. Takahashi classic, Urusei Yatsura, Tenshi Muyo was amazing. Alien Harem. And, and Tenshi in Tokyo, Tenshi Universe. And by titles like Love Hina, Alien Planets were the go-to source for harem girls for a long time. Tenshi! <laughs> and if you think about it, it's not hard to see why. Aliens allow for creative, fetish-pandering designs that can break taboos without, yeah, you know, they do. actually breaking them. Now, Tenshi Sasami <laughs> might look eight, but she's actually 708, which makes it totally okay. It's fine! But you want to know? 
No, it doesn't. Fine. They also create a convenient <laughs> excuse for all of the girls to live in the protagonist's house for maximum wish fulfillment. They literally have nowhere else to stay. So aliens show up in a metric ton of horror anime and manga. All from over the girls place. Bravo and Dear S to Cat Planet Cuties and Heaven's Lost what? Property. What are all these shows? Love Root. Of Sakura. I've seen that one, Jesus. It's particularly important because while its aliens only look like demons, its success as a manga and anime, as well as the success... What are these? shows <laughs> in 2005 paved the way for more demonic and supernaturally themed harem series to succeed it's not hard to see why harems began trending in that direction no it's really either. not a harem of demons has all the same advantages as a harem of aliens, aliens with yeah. the added bonus that demons have inherently loose morals and are already heavily associated with sex oh it's yeah really a match made in heaven or well hell hell <laughs> XD wasn't simply content to follow the harem meta it aimed to break it by combining Combining those demonic elements with other popular trends in the broader world of Echi. From the likes of Sekirei and Ikitozen, it borrowed the lucrative concept of hot girls fighting each other in clothes made of tissue paper. And Just from Zero to Sukata, like I said. it took the idea of making its protagonist the servant, rather than the master, of his primary love interest. But it also put several girls below Issei on the totem pole, meaning that it can appeal to you whether you prefer the S or the M. It's not all inclusive, in case you couldn't tell from the double D's in the title and all over the screen. <laughs> it is right. very much on Team Titty and the ongoing war team between TNA. Titty. But High School DXD hits a very broad range of, um, tastes, while somehow managing to mostly avoid the really <laughs> creepy stuff like incest and lollies. I mean, yes. Koneko technically counts, but she's only a year younger than Issei, which is a lot less creepy than something like Angel's Three Piece. Having What's that, that? Appeal without putting <laughs> I'm so glad I don't know the these shows. <laughs> normie filter ah. allows for a wide range of people to enjoy the fan service without too much risk of being creeped out and turned off. Well, I mean, there are a lot of tits on the screen at all times, and the humor is all the time. pretty crass, sometimes ah. bordering on offensive. But if you're watching any harem anime, you kind of expect that. Hell, the tits are a selling point. In other words, there's little to get in the way of someone picking a favorite girl. And DXD yeah. gives us plenty of great options to choose from. God. The show's cast of characters is huge, varied, and all things considered very likable and interesting. And surprisingly, that doesn't just the age of the Ghost of the Shell. Sure, no, it's not. Rias, Asia, <laughs> That's what I thought when Konoko, I saw it. Irina, and my personal favorite, Akino, not to she's mention great. dozens of side well, she's who are weird. part of the harem, you got high quality options for every Dere variant under the sun. And all of the main girls have their own storylines and characters. They do. Everyone's got a backstory. They're just thrown in. Now, that much is Which kind is of part of the course with harem series. The girls are the main selling point, after all, so it pays to put a lot of time and effort into developing them. Yes. But for obvious reasons, it's not so common for a harem to have a well-developed cast of male Man, yeah. supporting characters. Yet, here's High School DXD with two solid comic relief characters in Matsuda and Motohama, who are hilarious in the dub, by the That's way. So oh, I've not watched the dub. Male villains in Freed Selzen, Riser He's Phoenix, so weird, Kokobiel, weird, Valley, weird, and many weird. others, as well as genuinely likable allies to the hero in Sir Zach, He's so cool. Saji, Azazel, awesome. Gaspar, I like Azazel. and especially Kiba who has a strong awesome. character arc, is basically impossible to hate, is very appealing to the show's female audience, the ladies love him. surprisingly has, and is arguably a better hero than Issei. Which is not yeah. to say that Issei isn't a good protagonist. He just In fact, as loves the ladies, go, he's loves one of the, the boobies. Best. I mean, best. God damn it, what is this show doing to me? Like many harem protagonists, Issei is dumb as a sack of hammers, yep. but about as good at picking up on social cues. But unlike most harem protagonists, he's not a fucking doormat. Instead of hiding his perversion, he's proud he's and very open he about it. it as the basis for his most he's like, I want to feel his faults or her boobs. But he's relatively confident and then he's like, I'm going to suck on those and boobs. And when the chips are down, he can be genuinely heroic. He's mm. also one of the few harem protagonists I've seen who explicitly wants to have times. a harem instead of accidentally ending up in yeah, one he's like, I will he's be the harem. Unlike your standard wet napkin harem hero, you can actually see 
see why a girl or even multiple girls would want to be with Issei. Mm -hmm. The romance in the show isn't necessarily realistic, no, but it's at least at believable and decently well justified. Yeah, there is that, yeah. Also, it helps that the girls who are into Issei are actually, you know, into him. There's something really <laughs> uncomfortable about the standard love Hina harem model where the girls are vocally just creeped just out by the next up next until school. they fall for him out of pity. It's a lot easier to get into the fan service fun when the girls are actually <laughs> wanting to fuck him. having fun themselves <laughs> yeah. and actively give, you know, consent. And boy, oh boy, do the do girls they, of do DXD it. ever yeah. consent. Yeah. Aside from Koniko, the tsundere whose job is to not be all that enthusiastic, all of DXD's harem girls make an I don't like how unenthusiastic she is as well because she's got that lolly thing going on. Not they a fan. actually do it because having sex would turn the series into an entirely different kind of oh, anime. Oh, yes, But they get as close as they can in a commercial TV show or light novel and even fight nips. over him, which is a really refreshing change of pace from Oh no, you pervert! In other words, high school DXD isn't ashamed of being sexy. No, which, it's not. As I've said time and Flaunt again, it, is baby. You got it. In whether Flaunt or not, it. I can enjoy the sexy aspects of an etchy series. Equally as important as whether or not the actual fan service is good, which incidentally it is. Everything from the EDs to the ad break eye catch art is insanely sexy. So the over the top with the sexualization. Detailed, well animated nipples. I find it weird though when you got the lolly anime. character and I'm just like, oh, sorry, ah, I can't show it. you examples on YouTube. Too. And at times, DXD can also be surprisingly sweet. Issei's it has its moments where it's emotional. Asia and Rias are often way stronger than they have any right to be. All yeah. of that goes a long way toward explaining why DXD has managed to attract so many viewers and stand out in the vast field of fan service. But I'd say that the real key factor in DXD's long-term success is its plot. No, not its plot. I'm actually talking about, about the, the story plot. here, which, jokes aside, is important for the long-term health of any horror man. Of course. No matter how you strong your fan consistent. service and waifu game is, the bare-bones concept of hot girls all like the same dude, comedic antics ensue, doesn't have much shelf life beyond one or maybe two seasons if it's nope, really it's still good. Going. <laughs> you need a good story if you want to keep people watching beyond that. Like Nisekoi's silly mystery box thing, or Zero no Sukaima's fantasy elements. And with its lore rooted heavily in real world mythology and religions, high school DXD has a surprisingly Excuse strong me. plot. When you break it down, High School DXD is as much about red-blooded shonen battles as it is about ecchi. And if not for the fact that the bulk of the show's budget is reserved for that breast physics so weird until special you effects or fight choreography, I'd be tempted to categorize it as a shonen anime. Between it's close to it, magic, it? evil peace powers, demonic abilities, holy swords, sacred gears, and a lot of reincarnated dragons, the series to bursting with different flavors of crazy superpowers mm -hmm. and with sacred gears being able to transform into more powerful balance breakers the, the series awesome. features levels of power creep that would put most jump titles to shame each season is broken into two arcs leading up to a crazy fight with the big bad and each of those fights involves Issei awakening to a new level of power yeah, and transformation I'll go beyond my limits a new fighting technique as a culmination of his training and personal development while that formula doesn't necessarily make for the most interesting battle strategies or choreography, it's a lot of people punching each other and whoever's stronger wins, it does provide a good way of marking character growth and getting the audience invested in the it fate does. of the characters beyond just wanting to see them get undressed. The XD Head does back. a good job of making you want to cheer Issei and the rest of Team Rias on in battle, and of making you want to see its villains get their asses handed to them. It's not a great action series by any means, oh, no, it's no, no. not even up to par with DBZ's Boo Saga or even GT, but it's good it's enough to make you care past the point when you might give up and move on to another etchy show. And it gives the like plot a sense of GT. forward momentum <laughs> even as the etchy aspects settle into a broadcast standards mandated cycle of teasing, awkward interruptions, and inevitable blue balls. With each arc clocking in at just six episodes, DXD moves at a faster clip than your standard shonen series, and while the battles are mostly just passable compared to those in Naruto and Dragon oh, Ball Z. Hey, those shows don't have titties flying around whenever someone gets punched. 
Has don't. both a harem and a silly shonen battle series, High School DxD lets you indulge in two different but extremely complementary escapist fantasies at once, which work to balance each other out so that neither gets stale. Combine that with strong character writing, mostly good humor, and believable, it is very surprisingly funny. compelling romance, and you've got a recipe for success. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you fans of High School DxD, or does its blatant fan service turn you off? I like I it. What you think of I mean, it does get a bit much of points. I, I watch a few episodes and they go for off. And ring the notification I'll come back to this in a bit. But I still, like, you know, I watch like a few episodes Saturday. at a time. If you really like what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you haven't had your fill of me yet, check out the new public service anime video to learn what to do if your daughter turns out to be a magical girl. Uh -oh. Or watch this okay. other thing that Google recommends for you. I'm Jeff Thu, professional, professional shitbag, signing out from, from my mother's, mother's basement. basement. Cool. Very good video. If you've not seen High School DxD, you should. I mean, I wouldn't prioritize it over, like, a lot of other things. But if you got a spare bit of time, check it out. Because, yeah, it's, it's alright. It's cool. It's not like... I was expecting it to be freaking awful because of, like, everything else. It was just boost, 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 boost. But I ended up finding it quite funny in times and uh, being quite entertaining. And some of the characters are very likeable. Especially some of the backstory. I was like, ooh, it's deep. I wasn't expecting it from this. But it happens. So... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. What did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you're watching to discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Yes, all of you guys. Next time.